my name is Calvin, and I mostly like video games because they're fun to play with friends. I probably have about five or six friends who play the same games I do. If anything, it helps you meet people who you probably wouldn't have met. Like, you're not going to go down to, let's say, Minnesota and meet some people who just happen to have the same interests as you. For esports, I don't really plan much with my friends. Like, if there's a game for a team that we both like, then we'll try and watch the game if it's on live. But here in Canada, especially not in BC, there isn't very many esport events going on, other than for smaller communities. However, I was able to catch the um, Spring Finals while they were here in Vancouver, and I went with the front of that. Honestly, I just mute everyone. It's just so much easier that way, and especially if someone's just being absurdly toxic, then you can just mute absolutely everything. So you only have to see their actions that they're doing and nothing else. And it's nice. It helps entirely, especially if everyone on the team does it. So then you can still kind of have a civil conversation instead of a yelling match. I mostly spend time playing games with friends when they're on really and I will generally try to prioritize them and work myself around that but everyone has their own different schedules which constantly change so it can be hard sometimes. For my 10th birthday I got Minecraft and I was the first kid in my school to show everyone Minecraft. Really Minecraft hasn't affected my other choice except for meeting one friend which sh and they showed me this amazing platform known as Steam and on that there was this game called Team Fortress 2 which I played for days and I think I have a thousand hours on at this time. But if I had to guess like I still talk to you to this day probably at least 20 or 30. Really depends on the person, like, because there are people who are just not online all the time, but then there are people who are on 24-7. I don't really hang out with my friends outside of video games that often, because it's just a lot simpler to just play games, because, well, there's not really a cost involved. That we don't have to, like, meet up, really, and we can do it from the comfort of our homes. I think um, gaming will always be something that I'll do in the future. It's been a nice way to help me make friends, and they've been good friends for the most part. And it's something that will definitely keep up my communication skills.